What's up everybody, Moritz here from Section Store once again and today I'll be showing you how you can get those delivery time batches for your very own store. You can show the customers how long it's going to take from the time they place the order until it's dispatched and when they get it delivered. I think it's a nice visual way to show them what they can expect and how long it's going to take until they receive their product. And that's say we just jump right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the Section Store app. It's a component library with over 200 customizable components, Shopify exclusive, and you can get that for your very own store. Even after installing the sections, you can deinstall the app and still remain with the sections itself, so it's not going to slow your store down so much to that. And that is the one we just saw in the beginning of the video, the delivery time section it does come with a one-time charge of $9, it means if you bought it once, you also own it forever and you're not going to need an expensive developer to code you for that and you still have all the customization options in the world so at the end of the day it's a pretty good deal before you can actually use it head back to the my sections area of the app we have to add it to the theme you're using in my case it is the dawn light theme but it does work on every theme then just simply head on over to the theme editor open it up i've already done so and that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm on one of my default products, so it's getting applied to all my products. You can, of course, change that to different products as well. So if you just create a new product page right here and add this template and maybe change the numbers, uh, it's also going to show you different dispatching times and whatever you prefer. So yeah, that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And if I click on one of the blocks here, like the order example, you can either decide how many days it does take from the day it got ordered. So for example, today is the 5th of March. And if I save this up and set this to one, it will show us, of course, the 6th of March. And if we want to show a range of days, that will also get applied like on the other ones. So here you can see 6th and 9th of March. But of course, that doesn't make sense on the day it got placed because here we want to set it to zero and we don't need to show a range or whatsoever. And order placed first place so as you can see here the change is getting applied live and directly and if you're not happy with the icon you can upload your own as well so I'm just gonna use a really random one just to show you how it would look like and I'll give this a little save and then the icon is gonna get changed to the image I just uploaded but I was way happier with the one we had already so I'll just undo that change and the same applies to all the other ones as well. Of course, here the range is applied, so it can vary a little bit, so customers won't get disappointed if it won't arrive in that daytime. And yeah, if we wanna do some more customizations to the whole block itself, or even change the style of that whole thing, there are two different styling options. So if you jump to style one, you can see right here, it's gonna look like that. It's also a nice, slick way to present it. And yeah, here we have estimated arrival as a little headline right here and we can use the delivery date we used in the heading too. And some more customizations we can do to the whole thing. For example, centralizing that headline. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. So if I switch to mobile, you can see we can do some mobile changes as well, but I'm gonna go back to desktop. And yeah, a lot of other things we can change in that whole thing. I'm not gonna go into detail too much because at the end of the day, that is up to you. And yeah, last thing I maybe want to change is the icon background, just to show you all those things are customizable in color as well. Let's save it all up, have a final look at it in the live version, and then we can call it a wrap. And there we go, that is pretty much that. And yeah, I hope you guys found it useful, and if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one, and peace out.